Hi everybody, thanks for joining me on the channel. I really do appreciate it. So boating and fishing season is upon us. Before you take that boat out, you should go over it and make sure everything is operating to its full capacity. Now last year I noticed my lead acid battery that I have for my trolling motor and my electronics just wasn't doing the job anymore. Wasn't taking a full charge. Wasn't as reliable as it should be. So thankfully lead time contacted me, offered me a battery for the trolling motor. Let's check it out. I think it's gonna be a great replacement. Actually, I'm no stranger to Latime batteries. I had one installed in my truck camper last year and I was really happy with the performance of it. This one is about double the size, double the capacity. It's a class 31 battery suitable for my boat. So let's open her up, take a look at it. It's very well packaged if I recall the last one. So there we go, post bolts come wrapped up, taped up here, lots of high density foam, product manual, your warranty, things like that are in here. The product manuals and the warranty cards, things like that on lead time are really well done and they give you a whole sheet of stickers, who doesn't like a good sticker? And here's the battery itself. As far as batteries go, they're fairly light. Being a lithium iron phosphate. Nice looking battery, very light, but we'll get to that later. So as you can see, it comes shipped with these safety caps. That's a good idea. We can just put the post bolts where they're supposed to go. Red for positive, of course. Black for negative. That's a good start. Let's get her in the boat. So it is time to swap out this old lead acid battery. It's not that old, it's only about five years old. It's lived its full life, so it's time to replace it. Lithium iron phosphate, in my mind, is the way to go. One reason is the weight. I have a smaller boat here with a smaller motor and you want to have you know not so much weight in the back of the boat and this battery I just weighed it was 43 and a half pounds this one is just under 21 pounds so less than half the weight of this battery here that's considerable weight savings for me on a boat this size anyway so there are many reasons to switch your regular lead acid batteries out to lithium iron phosphate. We talked about the age of the other battery. You can get 4,000 cycles out of this battery before they start to degrade or not take a full charge. The expected lifespan of this battery is 10 years plus. Now this is a 10 amp hour or 1280 watt hour battery and you have basically all of that power and capacity available to you to use. With the regular lead acid battery, you have about roughly half of the available power usable to you. So that's one big reason to switch over to lithium iron phosphate. This particular battery would be suitable for the home if you're setting up an off-grid system. For your RV, it would be ideal. It's also ideal for marine use, it's IP65. You can use this on a trolling motor between 30 pounds of thrust and 70 pounds of thrust. My trolling motor is only about 40 pounds of thrust. It fits in beautifully. They do sell a battery that is made specifically for trolling motors. You might want to check them out if you have a larger trolling motor and you're dealing with a larger boat. But this will suit my purposes just fine. These batteries are getting pretty sophisticated these days. They have an onboard BMS or battery management system that will protect the battery from overcharging, overheating, overcurrent, over discharge. They even have low temp protection so you don't attempt to charge the battery at too low of an outside temperature. And you know they even have some batteries with onboard heating pads. So they are pretty sophisticated now, great for the outdoorsman. 
They don't recommend that this is used as a starter battery, so I'm just going to use it for my onboard electronics and my trolling motor, but let's get it hooked up to the battery system. Make sure your terminals are tight. Perfect. So nice to have a light battery, makes life much easier. So I've connected the lead time battery to the electrical system in my boat. It's set up to run my fish finder my trolling motor, the lights, my bilge pump, and also the recirculating pump on my live well. Now it only came 50% charge, that's normal. Lead time normally ships these at about 50% charge. So I'm gonna throw this on the charger overnight, bring it up to 100%. I'm gonna go camping and fishing for about a week so I'll be able to compare this battery to the lead acid battery that I'm used to using in this boat and I'll keep you posted as I go. Talk to you soon. So I'm back. We had a good time. How did I like the lead time battery? How did it perform? Well, as I said before, my lead acid battery was starting to get old. It was four or five years old. It was not taking a 100% charge and it would lose its charge very quickly. Now that's where these lithium iron phosphate batteries shine. They can take up to 4,000 charging cycles before they start to degrade. That's about a 10 year cycle for most people. Let's see how much of a charge is left in this battery. I have a charge meter built into this battery box. Let's take a look, see where the lead time battery is standing. As you can see, the lead time battery is inside this Minn Kota battery box. Let's test it, see how much charge is left. So it's reading between 75 and 100%. I say between because the green light which indicates full is illuminated, but it's very faint. So between 75 and 100% charge still left on the battery. Pretty impressive. Can't believe how light this thing is. Okay, I felt pretty confident on the water with this. Number one, it's a brand new battery. You expect great things from a brand new battery, don't you? But number two, you know, this is a 100 amp hour battery. And the thing about lithium iron phosphate batteries is that almost 100% of the power in the battery is available to the user. So actually, this 100 amp hour battery has as much power available as a 200 amp hour lead acid battery. And it's about one fifth of the weight. Like this weighs nothing when compared to other batteries. That's pretty awesome. This battery ran all the electronics on my boat with lots of power to the trolling motor and I had to battle some pretty significant winds I believe so I'm pretty happy with the performance there. Now if you watch some of the more technical reviews of this on YouTube you're going to see that these batteries consistently deliver 100 amp hours of power and in some cases even more. Another point the weight advantage is real. It pays to have a lighter load on your boat you're going to get much better performance. As I mentioned before, this battery offers the same power as a 200 amp hour lead acid battery at a fraction of the weight. That's some pretty decent specs for sure. What's more, Lead Time offers free shipping and a five year warranty on these batteries. As far as customer service goes, this was my experience. I emailed Lead Time twice with questions about the battery. Both times they got back to me within 12 hours with a detailed answer. Now I used a different email. I didn't identify myself as a YouTube reviewer. I was just a customer with a question. That turnaround was pretty quick and pretty impressive. Now the price on these things is not bad. Actually the prices are coming down all the time. They go on sale every once in a while, so keep your eyes peeled. If you need to upgrade your lead acid batteries, lithium iron phosphate is the way to go. So check out lead time. I'm not paid. To do these videos i don't get any money from the sales of these batteries i'm just telling you my honest opinion for my use check out lead time there will be links in the description down below thanks for watching i do appreciate the time you spend with the channel take care everybody we'll see you in the next video very soon bye for now